Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining me. This is just gonna be a real quick little video about Haviston watch straps. They actually have more than straps. They've got watch rolls. They've got uh, watch themed coasters. They got a whole bunch of really cool like vintage military type of stuff. Uh, and I contacted them and they were nice enough to send me a whole bunch of little neat little things. Again, they're not just watch straps, uh, but they're mainly watch straps. So they've got travel and stowage stuff. Uh, they've got, you know, patches you can put on your jackets. Uh, again, these really cool um, coasters. These are like horology themed, watch themed coasters. And they're extremely well made. <laughs> I was shocked how well made these things are. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and open up some of the stuff and show you. Uh, Y'all know I review tons and tons and tons of different watch straps from different companies. Uh, and I was really interested in these, uh, mainly, honestly, for the coasters, man, these are really cool coasters. I'll show you this in a minute. I actually have a couple pictures I wanna put up and I'll show you those pictures about how well these coasters are made. Uh, but let's go ahead and open up a couple of the watch straps. I mean, they've got canvas watch straps. They've got leather watch straps, uh, all sorts of, they got Velcro. Uh, and another thing about Haviston, the packaging on their stuff, Whoever designed all of their packaging, I guess their graphic artist or whoever they have working for them did a fantastic job. I mean, the packaging on everything they sell is just really, really cool, man. So anyway, so there you go. Let's open this thing up. Wow, really nice strap. Again, all this is like vintage military uh, inspired type of stuff. Let's take a look at this one. This is like a canvas one. Let's see here. Wow, look at that, really nice. Very well made, you got a little Haviston logo right there on the buckle, as you can see. Looks like this is like a single pass, I believe. Wow, very well made, I like this one. Um, I like khaki green or olive drab green, maybe not my favorite color in the world, but I can tell it's a very well made strap, got some double stitching there. Uh, very nice, man, very nice strap. Got a whole bunch of stitching around the, uh, the holes. Pretty cool, man. There's one. Let's check out this one. All right, this one, the first one was from their Core Canvas series. So that was a canvas strap. Let's see what we got here. This is from their Service series. I'm guessing more of like a NATO style strap. Let me see here. I mean, look at the packaging, man. I mean, good grief. Who does that for a watch strap? Very impressive. Again, whoever the graphic artist is did a fantastic job on this packaging. And you'll find that, again, about all of their products. All right, open this thing up. Check this one out. There we go. Nice, again, you got the logo right there. I like how the, uh, the kind of grays and blues blend together. Pretty cool, man. Really nice, nice polished uh, keepers there. Very good. So anyway, check out their straps again. They've probably got what, one, two, three, four, five, five series of different types of straps. Again, all vintage military inspired. So check out their straps. But I have to admit, oh, actually there's one more. And this is like a Velcro. This is pretty cool. It's like something you would wear to the to the Arctic or something. Look at this thing. If I can get it out of here. There we go. Look at that. Ooh, I guess that's like their uh, their internal number there. Part of the design actually. Look at that. Velcro. Ooh, ooh, look at these cool keepers. Nice big rubber keepers right there. Okay, this is a cool looking strap, man. I have to admit. Nice. See the stitching, the cross stitching? Very nice. Again, I don't even wear watches on straps. Normally I could just, you know, go with the, um, either the rubber strap or the stainless steel bracelet that was provided with the watch, the original bracelet or strap. So I really don't do a lot of strap swapping on any of my watches. And I've got a, I've probably got two full shoe boxes, full of brand new straps, never been used, still in their original wrapping. I just don't use straps. Guys, the real reason I wanted to contact Haviston was these coasters. <laughs> and here's one of them, okay? Look at this coaster. I don't know if you can tell on the camera about how well this thing is made. And let me go ahead and put up a couple of pictures. Here's the nine o'clock index. You can see how everything is kind of um, inset inside of the coaster like it's embossed. I don't know if embossed or engraved. I guess embossed is kind of the word I'm looking for. Anyway, there's the nine o'clock index. Let me show you the 12 o'clock. And the 12 o'clock 
is actually raised off the coaster as well as the 12, 3, 6, and 9 indexes. I don't know if you can see that there. And then here is a picture, a close-up of the Haviston logo itself. You can see how it's, again, kind of, I don't know if engraved or embossed. I guess engraved is the word I'm looking for. Anyway, just fantastically well-made coasters. And they're, you know, watch-themed, which is really cool. So most of these coasters are aviation-inspired. I think you've got one or two they are like a diver style, uh, but they're all extremely well-made. They also have this, like, sticky back. It's not actually sticky, but when you put it on a surface, the coaster stays put. It doesn't go anywhere. So here's this one. This one might be my favorite. Let's go ahead and open up another one. And they actually have another style that's like uh, a watch movement, like a fictitious Haviston caliber. So let's take a look at this thing, if I can open this thing up here. And again, they're all deeply engraved and extremely well made, man. Let's open this one up. There we go. But look at that one. Again, look at the attention to detail. Wow, that is really, really cool. You get that kind of sticky back. Again, it's not actually sticky. You can actually wash these to kind of remove any dirt or debris or dust. So if it loses any of its stickiness, uh, you could just wash them and it'll regain that stickiness back. But look at all the engraving. I mean, the attention to detail on a coaster is insane. Look at that. Really, really cool. And all of them are like this. All right, let's open up another one. I think this one's gonna be really cool too. All right, here we go. Wow, look at that one. Really cool, man. They put a lot of time and effort into designing these things, man. Again, most of these are like, you know, vintage military inspired dials. Really cool, man. You got your 60 second sub dial down there. All these little pips are actually raised. These little brown pips are raised off the coaster. And you see the 60 second sub dial is inset into the coaster. Let's see if I can get you a better angle there. Really nice, man. I love these things. I think these are fantastic coasters. Again, they sell watch, you know, mainly watch straps, but again, you know, travel and stowage, they have watch rolls, which are really nice. Let me take a look. Oh, yeah, really nice canvas watch rolls. Really nice. And what else do they have? Again, you got some, you know, patches you can put on your jacket if you want. Um, a couple of those. And what else do they have? Looks like they have a couple stickers and like a polishing cloth. So head on over to Haviston, man, if you want to get some really unique straps with that vintage military look, as well as maybe some of the best looking coasters, believe it or not, uh, I've probably ever seen. I love these things. Head on over to Haviston and check them out. Uh, I'll put a link in the description field so you can head on over there and pick yourself up some really, really cool stuff. And you get a 10% discount if you buy two or more straps with the code FIELDSET. That's F I. E-L-D-S-E-T. And of course, there's free shipping on orders over $22. So man, check them out. They got some really, really cool stuff. Anyway, guys, that's really about it for this video. I just wanted to bring you some really cool stuff that I found. Uh, so anyway, check Haviston out. Again, I'll put a link in the description field for you. As always, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification bell. And I will see you on the next review. Take care. Bye-bye.